One thing you must know about Ghanaians, then it is how religious they are, even in the way they speak. When you're speaking to a typical Ghanaian, um, this is what you would hear. That's the one phrase you would hear on the lips of most Ghanaians. And I'm speaking in three because that's the most commonly used one. Why am I referring to this? I'm referring to this phrase because of what we call resolutions, especially in the new year. It's only the 11th day of the year. I am not sure what it is that you have written down that you want to achieve this year, but it could range from losing weight to eating healthier or changing your diet, getting fitter, getting more exercise into your routine. It could also range from spending more time with family and friends, be more aware and take care of your mental health this is very important for a lot of people out there it also sometimes would have to do with sorting out your finances and cutting back on spending maybe now traveling more taking vacations relaxing and taking care of yourself and maybe if you're like me if you don't really play any hobby or you don't know how to play any sports you probably will think of doing something new entirely new something that you haven't done um, before this year that's the story of many people. Oftentimes, you will see people penning down ideas or writing all these resolutions in notebooks or wherever they want to write them down. And of course, in contemporary times, you can also write them down on your smartphone. So you can refer to them as the year goes on to see if you are achieving your targets or not. But let me ask you a question this morning. Resolutions or New Year resolutions, are they still very relevant? Because in my adulthood, I realized that no matter what I write down, most of the time, 80% of the time, it doesn't even happen. Um, I was supposed to play a video this morning. I sent it, but it hasn't delivered. Johnny and I embarked on a journey to Qatar when we were doing the whole Qatar Sea Defense and Tidal Waves um, issue last year. So we bumped into a gentleman who was supposed to pump our tie. We asked him the name of the company, and he says the name of the company is Man Propose, God Dispose. I mean, yeah. But he, what he meant to say was man proposes, God disposes. So if man proposes and God disposes us and how he wants to, is it really important that you write what you want to achieve? Because if you write it down and God says no, it means that it will not happen. So is this still very relevant? Councillor Idumata is my guest in the studio <laughs> yes, this yes, morning to address this very tricky. It is. It's, it's, it's very tricky. It because it if you consider the year 2019 and 2020, if this these two years were anything to go by, especially mm. with COVID, mm. then it should tell you that sometimes you can plan and plan and plan and plan all you want. Yes. But if the Supreme Being says, I've got other plans, what you've written down is actually you perfectly exactly right. is actually really not perfectly relevant. Right. Perfectly right. So the question, the yes. big question yes. this morning, Councillor mm. Dumata. Good to see you, by good the way. You, Happy New Year. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a very Same long time. You. Thank yes, you so yes, much yes, yes. for You're accepting well. to be. Thank you for mm. accepting uh, accepting to be our guest this morning. Yes. So resolutions. Yes. Are they still very relevant? A test. A test so? relevant, but it depends on how you do it, and okay. you should be able to build a certain platform before you can get there. Okay. You know, you said that the, 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 the gentleman said man proposes. God disposes, right. yeah. We have a wish, mm. but God has a will. Oh. Get this right. Okay. We have a wish, but it is his will. Okay. So one of your pivot in resolution is that look at your life. Mm. Whose are you? Who gave you the life you are more or less going up and down with? Okay. Okay. So if you cannot establish the presence of the one who said, I have made you who I said I am, or we, we're going to be with you, then how are you going to work your way through? But if you go yourself in terms of self, wanting to become who you think you are, I'm sorry, God will elude you and okay. you will not be able to get it. Okay. But many a times when we talk about resolution, mama, it's about two words, re-solution. Yeah. Okay, so if last year mm. you couldn't do what you said you would do, mm. come and give a solution to yourself. So it's all about we getting the solution to who we said we'll be okay. come this very year. Okay. So basically it means that the things that I want to do and the things I want to stop doing, two things. 
the so that's basically that's what resolutions are that, about. The, 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 the new things I want to do exactly. and the old things I want to stop doing. Fantastic. Okay. Very, very important. But, but when you're going to do this, you don't go general. Hmm. You go specific. You know when you were listing some yeah. areas, yeah. I want to lose weight. We yes. don't say you want to lose weight. Hmm. Go specific. What hmm. is your weight now? By the if you're end, 95, good. by the end of the year, you want to be 75. Even the year is too long. Sectionalize so it. I want to lose weight. It's too vague. It's too vague. And that's what we do. We take a tall paper and pen and write. We write vague things. We are not precise. We are not precise. We are not concise. specific. We are not exact. We cannot time ourselves and we just do it anyhow. Mm. Because it is good to write. It's a wish. Mm. But how do you make it real? This is where you come down. You need to break down your wish into three areas. Areas. Okay. What I call the starter. Okay. Do you know that, ma'am? Anything you want to start, you don't have a known of it. But somebody somewhere has started. Right. Somebody somewhere started and failed. Mm. Have you gone in for the knowledge? So I'm going to start A, but I don't know anything about it. I'm going to use the first quarter mm. to accumulate a knowledge base on that. Then from there, I start to look for the resources that will go. So we are talking about by the third quarter, I should be able to pick up. Okay. That's your startup. Okay. So all of us should be able to categorize what is it that you want to start this year. Mm. Then you go to the second aspect. Okay. The second aspect is what you call improvement. The things you want to improve. You were not too good come last year, but you said, oh, you really want to improve some areas of yours. Mm. Pick them up and see how you can be able to go specific okay. and be able to make sure that it's more re relevant and mm. realistic to that. Okay. Then you go to the last one, mm. continuation. In other words, the things you want to continue. Mama, as you sit here right now, it was part of your resolution that you continue working here, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. So you work towards it. Yeah. So you start building your acumen, you start networking yourself, you start getting, you, you work towards that. It's that. And that one, you can easily get it and go on. Okay. But if you don't categorize and you go, boom, it's totally wrong. Okay. But before you can do this, mama, there are three things you must attest to yourself. Okay. First of all, mm. accept yourself. If okay. you copy somebody, if you want to become somebody, if you cannot become yourself and you do not know yourself, you can never in any way make a resolution to you. Are you saying that copying somebody is wrong? No. no. Maybe somebody, somebody admires Johnny Hughes. Now you're changing it. The word copy okay. and admiration is, is totally, totally different. different. Okay. I admire Johnny, mm. but I want to find out how Johnny got there. How is he doing it? You are moving towards it. Okay. But... You, do, you are not asking that question, but you want to become and you want to speak and want to act like him. What's he? Mm. Totally wrong. Mm. So you can admire, okay. which is good. All right. So first of all, do what I call the self-acceptance. Look, there are people who have not even come to point realizing how good they are. Mm. Do you know the way you walk is good? No. The, ah, <laughs> there is, the, 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 there's a good in it. So when somebody says, oh, no, the, the way you are walking is not too good, please, you know what is good. Yeah. And that is where you will look at it and make your resolution towards it. But maybe sometimes the way you walk may be bad, but you don't know that it's bad. But in your eyes, it's good. Once it take another person to tell you, say, mm, okay, yeah, the way you walk is not really good. Yes. If the person says the way you walk is no good, the person who loves you, who really understands where you're going, will give you the detailed specifics as to how you do it. Okay. But people who come in broad terms, the way you walk is all nice. No, no. no they see who. Oh, they see who. When it happens like that, it's either they like it, but they cannot appreciate it. Or they want they to walk like fantastic. that, and they cannot walk like that. So always pick up on people who give you specifics to the negatives of you. And that is what, we, so I call it those who criticize you. They don't condemn you, they critique you, which is good. Then you can actually improve upon it. So first of all, if you cannot accept yourself, mm. mama, that is where the problem is. Okay. Now, in accepting yourself, you must be able to identify the qualities, the, the capabilities, the abilities in you. Okay. That is what will make you to accept yourself. So if somebody from somewhere come to condemn you, you know where you go. Based on that, you can now resolve yourself in the year. In knowing this, the second aspect is the believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Look, if you don't believe in yourself, God will not even open a way for you. That is why the gentleman said, man proposes, man. God disposes. Whichever way. Yeah. All right. The one who do not believe in the abilities and the qualities and the things you have, I'm sorry. You, you touch it, you fall.
You touch it, you start asking yourself. You don't believe in what you're doing, and you start trying to as we confirm from other people. It won't work. But because we don't believe. But, but, but oftentimes, people tend to not believe in themselves because they've tried a number of times and it hasn't worked. Ask yourself. So you start to doubt yourself. Adiakura, am I even capable of doing this? No, maybe I wasn't called for this. Can I explore other means? It's just because you've tried a number of times and it hasn't worked. So are you really wrong when you doubt yourself? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. It is good to fail, but don't be a failure. Get it right. It's because I did not know, because I didn't do my preparation well, because I did not contact the right people, that is why I failed. So anytime you fail, ask yourself, what happened? The more I start asking myself, I'm able to get the nitty gritty and see how well I can move again. That's the third stage, you confront yourself. We don't like doing that. But we always want to blame people why things went wrong in my direction, why others are doing well and I can do it. Just believe that, look, it is good to fail. When I fail, it doesn't mean mm. I am a waste. Mm. This is what people should know. Mm. But when you fail, it means that you can come out again and make sure that you can innovate yourself, be more creative, and then do the right thing next time around. That's what somebody says. Um, if you fail, and you still fail, and you fail the third time, I'm sorry, you are just a waste. Mm. But every failure mm. teaches should enlighten you, a lesson, you. Yeah. exactly. Teaches you a lesson. And because that thing had happened, just putting yourself that it has happened for a reason. That reason, look for it. Okay. And in looking for that reason, you confront yourself. Okay. You see, when you read, let me take you to the Bible a little bit. When you read Matthew 7, 7, I like that verse. Mm. It says we should ask. The resultant of ask was given. Okay. Seek was given. Mm. Knock was given. But as to how to do the asking, seeking, knocking not was not given. Okay. That is yours. So the way, ma'am, you do yours will not be the same way I'll do mine because the how is totally different. And that is what we are supposed to have. So I said I want to lose weight, mm. but I want to do this within the first quarter. Okay. My weight currently is 50-something. Yeah. I want to drop it down to 30. Then I'll focus. I'll concentrate. But you can't come and tell me that I want to buy aircraft when the salary you get <laughs> is 500 cents. You're over-ambitious. Yes. It is good. Mm. People say there's God, there's faith, it's fine. But it's not realistic. But what is the price of aircraft type? Onim. Fantastic. The engine component, even the fuel. Mm. How much is it? So yes, somebody can open a door for you, but would you be able to sustain it? Mm. It is not getting, it's about sustaining it. So normally these resolutions, we just write them down, mm. it looks so good, but how then can we implement The implementation. The life we, in which we live in, ma'am, it's all about implementing ourselves. You can do the analysis, you can do the planning, you can do what, but the implementation aspect is what matters. What makes you to work and come here? Mm, mm. If you did not eat well yesterday, wouldn't you have a tummy problem? I will. Would you be able to implement of coming here? I probably wouldn't even have energy to Fantastic. come here. Fantastic. You know you were coming here by yeah. five. Yeah. Now I could dear grow somewhere yesterday. Well, you come to the house around three. Mm. I mean, how are you going to prepare yourself and put yourself together? So you should always look at what you are in doing by implementing it. Mm. And so you tend to realize that it does not become more or less like a a broad-based thing sitting down, but every day you add something out of it. So at the end of the day, you realize, mm. oh, these are the things I did. Okay. I, I want us to talk about some of the factors that could stop the implementation of all these re resolutions that you've we've written down. We do it all the time. Right. So what are, the, some, what are some of the things that could actually stop them? Yes. It's, it's the way you get angry. If you get angry too much, you lose focus. You lose focus. If you doubt people, you lose focus. If you become more jealous, you lose focus. Wow. If you do not admire people, you lose focus. If you want to become somebody you never dreamt of wanting to be, you lose focus. What I mean here is that what you said you want to do, you must always stay in focus. Don't let anything crisscross you. Mm. People who get angry, who let people make them to as well lose what they intend doing, they've lost the future. All these hurt the future of yours because mm. resolution is about the tomorrow aspect of you. Mm. And here you are, you don't believe people, mm. you doubt people, mm. you insult people, mm. you don't discipline yourself.
You don't, you don't even work towards determining yourself. And you are always jealous of people. Envying people. You see, all these are negatives. And these are the normal self-negative things that comes to us. And this hurts what we say we do. I want to become like you, ma'am. But here you are when you come on TV, look at her. Ah, what you, watch, 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 watch. you can't hate what you love. Fantastic. Fantastic. You can't hate what you love. So you are losing focus. So instead of you picking up the juices in you that I can actually use and get it there, you sit down and then you break yourself out. I'm sorry. Stop envying people. It won't happen. It won't happen. These are normal things. And you see, when we don't have the resource, we dream big. But the day you have the money, you had the contract, the, 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 the money is in your hands, what do you think? We tend to forget what we thought. But when you have what it takes, pause. Pause a second and ask, who can I sell this can be again? What do you say you're going to use the money for? But you see, when the, the light comes, we rejoice in the light. Mm. But it's only when darkness comes. Mm. But we will, but we will, mm. No, 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 nobody should say that. Mm. Because you need light to defeat darkness. Mm. So in your state of light, what were you doing? Mm. Did you forget that there will be darkness? Mm. Let's look at it. Mm. So somebody may marry today. Come tomorrow, the marriage can go abrogated. Mm. Now, it is not a case of anybody. Something did not work well for you. So how would you make the best out of it? Because your life need not come to a halt. You must be able to move on. And most importantly, ma'am, what is of a big resolution of yourself mm. is making your life a life. Please hold on to that one for <laughs> us. We're here to the streets of Accra to ask you if resolutions are still relevant. And this is what you had to say. We are starting a new year. So, I mean, you have to have plans. And, uh, I mean, uh, plans that you want to achieve. So, I think it, it guides you. I mean, to know how to live the life, you understand? Because if you have plans, you know how to, I mean, work at it and all of that. Mm, I would say 70%. Yes, yeah, 70%. But I hope 2022 will be a better year. I want to build this year. Yes, I want to build. So I'm preparing to buy a land and start building. Yeah, yeah, and also go back to school. Yeah, that's it. New year resolution is very important because you must put it down, your plans. What are resolution? Just your plans being put in a book or a diary, you know, for you to be keep you keep looking at it each and every day to remind you of what you want to achieve. My 2021 resolution was met. What I even planned, I did not just know what I did. Another thing else popped up, which was no positive. I was able to achieve it. Just to eat, eat healthy. You know, have a good health plan, you know, a diet, as, as, which is very, very important because now you don't know when your health will just strike you down. So we must just take care of our health, I say. Resolutions are still relevant based on each and everyone's ideas and what they, they plan to do. Um, I would say 70% were met, actually. Yeah, personally, I do have plans for this year. Um, be a better person, work harder to make the country prosperous. Yeah, I think it's relevant because it's a form of manifestation. So um, when you tend to say something like maybe you want to do this this year, you put it down or let's say you put it in mind that you want to do this. So you work towards that and it helps it to come true. Yeah. Oh, to improve upon myself and then to um, also start a business of my own. Okay, so <laughs> I think it's running through. Everybody's saying 70% of the time. But do you realize something common? Almost everybody was sort of given a general yeah. sort of view of mm. what they want to. Mm. And that is where the casualties mm. are. You want to build. We are not specific. Yes. You want to build what type of house? Maria. Where? Where? Yes. One land, two, three, yeah. quarter plot. Mm. All these things. Mm. Then we, you can. We don't narrow it exactly. down. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. I see. So being specific yes. is very relevant so to what you're writing. Let me writing. say this. You know, in every management, anytime you're trying to set objective, mm. they say make it smart. Yeah. So make it simple, specific, measurable, accurate, realistic, mm. and timed. Right. You got to make sure you coin all these to right. make sure you can get it done. Make it smart. Yeah, exactly. Now, make, make it smart. Great. Now, we, we are running out of time, but yes, just before we go, where is the place of discipline? Hey! Why am I me? Me, me. Oh. 
Hey, as I'm Kessian one boss, it can't be traded for anything. It cannot be traded off. Let me tell you, without discipline, whatever you call your resolution, you can achieve it. In fact, you will lose your life, the, 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 the impetus of your life, you will mm. lose it. Mm. Now, discipline, mm. they are the boundaries, they are the guides, they are what I call the policing. But I do. I do. You want to lose weight. Everywhere you pass, they are selling to Maria. Everywhere you pass, they are selling. There you are. They're selling pork. You are trading <laughs> off your excitement, your pleasures as against your future. That is how discipline is about. Ah! And I'm in the 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 but you said you are not eating because you want to make a savings and make sure you get this. Why are you eating? Mm. There should be somebody who will police you. Mm. And that is your first, your mindset. Right. You should be able to know what you said you want to do. And then you should also have somebody by you mm. who always preempt you. Mm. Coco, you said mm. ABC the mm. last time. How mm. far are you in? Mm. This one, do it with somebody who you can trust. Mm. Not somebody who always wants to infiltrate and find out, mm. uh, are you getting there? Mm. Eh, are you sure you can do it? No, mm. no, no. Mm. So discipline, you have indeed hit the thing. Okay. And if you have a discipline, you should add determination to it. Okay. And when you add determination to it, develop it. Wow. So give it the three Ds. Okay. Discipline, determination, yes. and development. Develop. Okay. All right. <laughs> Counselor Dumata. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much thank for you so your much. time this thank morning. Thank you so much for this I, I hope that you have learned a thing or two. It's not enough to write it down. Exactly. You need to be specific exactly. when you're writing it down. Exactly. Add some discipline. Sprinkle some determination Fantastic. on it so that you can develop it. What stew would you call? <laughs> what soup is that? Abomu. Abomu. I love that. <laughs>